my papa, good morning my mama, good morning mommies and daddies. My name is Ruthie Maker. I'm from age eight children's department and I'm here to talk about moral decadence. What is moral decadence? Moral decadence means the reduction in moral values in society. It is the fall in standard of the society, where societal values, belief, norms, ethic, and decline. It involves frequent engagement, conflicts, examination malpractice, courtesy, and innocent dressing. Moral decadence in society. Who should we blame? Should we blame the society, which is a geographical area, or the people living in the society? The parents should be blamed because parents help to grow up the family, school, church, etc. The parents should take a good percent of moral decadence. Parents have to grow up in society. Parenting comes in every angle. It can either be one's uncle, auntie, father, mother, etc. There are no bad children, just ignorant parents. Parenting is a very powerful norm we should never be taken for levity. Even the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. So title children who are exposed to varieties of distraction find it difficult to connection to proper morals. And comparing them to children who are blinded to societal norms and ethics of the society. Child development lies in the root of parent belief. So, whatever a child becomes is sometimes the imbued of the parent and not the society. A child's brain is like a virgin land and very open. So, Whatever you plan there at a tender age determines the fruit that grows therein. As they say, charity begins at home, and this home belongs to you, parents. Like the common word of our parents today, he is still a child. Don't worry, when he grows, he won't do such. This saying has ended up many children as drunkards, prostitutes, thugs, thieves, etc. Instead of discipline, you tend to overlook. Your actions matter to us. You say four words in our presence and you expect us not to inculcate it. You fight in our presence, and you expect us not to do the same. You let us watch movies older than us, and you expect us not to practice it. No way. Our parents, our strongholds, our protector, our shield. We, your children, want to be great, but we can be if you don't lead us right. Our future and our destiny depends on you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. That's enough a message for today.
Now listen, please. The destiny of our children is in our hands. Train up a child and he shall not depart from it when he grows old. Only God can bend a dry fish without breaking it. Permission to do what your children like is not success. It's failure in disguise. I grew up in a place where you're not permitted to do what you like, but what is right. Your children go out, you can't tell where they went, and when they are coming back, what a parent. How? How? Now, children are now teaching us. Children are now teaching us. I don't care what schools your children go to. They cannot create their tomorrow. In our days, you, you lack home training. That was the word. You lack home training. People don't train anybody. Even children of five years are sent abroad. Is that prosperity or poverty? Complete poverty. Complete poverty. Lift up your two hands and let's pray over all parents and will be parents in our church. Lord, and grace every parent and will be parent to take responsibility in bringing up their children in the way of the Lord. Let's, let's pray that prayer. Let's pray that prayer. Let's pray that prayer. Let's pray that prayer. Anyone failing right now, grace to rebound. Grace to take responsibility. Grace to arise. In Jesus' precious name. Lord, watch over these children, Amen. all the children in this commission. Amen. Let your good hand remain ever strong on their lives. Amen. Let none of them miss you in their journey. Amen. Let the training they are receiving now speak into their future. Amen. I pray against sickness and disease. Amen. I pray against assaults of the wicked one. And I ask for the seal of a good old age upon their life. And I ask that their passion be stronger and hotter than our own. I pray that none of these children will cause their parents heartache. And I pray that no parents will mislead any of these children. In the name of Jesus. Now, I decree the spirit of excellence will be released upon them. Yeah. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel, they shall excel. Yeah. They shall prevail in their studies. Yeah. They shall make their parents proud. Yeah. The church of Christ will rejoice in them. Yeah. And the world will celebrate them. Yeah. So let it be. Yeah. And for all their teachers, be blessed. You are doing a good job. Be blessed. Yeah. Others will invest into your own children. Yeah. You will enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so shall it be. Yeah. Children, congratulations. Yeah. You'll be alive and well in 2024 Children's Day. Your parents shall be alive and well. Your teacher shall be alive and well. It shall be promotion all the way. Church, give the Lord a big hand for them. And be seated.